Today, the last Republican presidential nominee, Mitt Romney, called on you to release your back tax returns and said, and I'm quoting him now, there is good reason to believe there is a bombshell in them. Romney said either you're not as wealthy as you say you are, said maybe you haven't paid the kind of taxes we would expect you to pay, or you haven't been giving the money to veterans or disabled people. Are any of those accusations that he has leveled true? All right, first of all, let me just explain. I was the first one to file a financial disclosure form, almost 100 pages. You don't learn anything about somebody's wealth with a tax return. You learn it from statements. I filed, which shows that I'm worth over $10 billion. I built a great company with very little debt. People were shocked. The people in the back, the reporters, they were shocked when they went down. And I filed it on time. I didn't ask for five 45-day extensions, which I would have been entitled to. So as far as that's concerned, I filed it, and that's where you find out what kind of a company. You don't learn anything from, from a tax return. I will say this, uh, Mitt Romney looked like a fool when he delayed and delayed and delayed, and Harry Reid baited him so beautifully, and Mitt Romney didn't file his return until September 21st of 2012, about a month and a half before the election, and it cost him big league. As far as my return, I want to file it, except for many years, I've been audited every year, 12 years or something like that. Every year, they audit me, audit me, audit me. Nobody gets audited. I have friends that are very wealthy people. They never get audited. I get audited every year. I will absolutely give my return, but I'm being audited now for two or three years, so I can't do it until the audit is finished, obviously, and I think people would understand that.